Rich Princess and Broke Princess Once upon a starry night, the sleepy kingdom of Everdon was bathed in the moon's soft glow. That night, in the neighboring castles, two lovely princesses were born, and the moon, in all her kindness, had saved her brightest beams for the little royal cousins. Now Everdon was a kingdom divided by a river and ruled by two brothers, King Edward and King Frederick. King Frederick's side was known as Everdon Shine. Its people were prosperous with overflowing wealth, and its richness rivaled the sun's radiance. Whereas King Edward's side was more humble and was known as Everdon Glow. It didn't possess much wealth or extravagance, but humility and kindness reigned throughout. King Edward's daughter was named Isabel, and she was kind and loving. Oh no! Here, I'll carry them for you. How kind our princess is! She was brought up with values of empathy and compassion, and would mingle with everyone in glow. King Frederick's daughter, Arabelle, was brought up surrounded by the world's finest things. She'd receive whatever she desired and was only friends with the wealthiest of people. A present? Hmm, not sparkly enough. Why would you even accept it? Oh! Huh? Um, well, I think it's pretty. She wasn't, however, unkind. Over the years, the two princesses grew up quite differently. Isabel was loved by the people of Glow for her humility. Isabel, tell, tell us a story! Us a story. <laughs> right after I've helped Madame Praline, okay? Okay. Thank you, Isa. These stairs are a trial for me. Arabelle, on the other hand, was entirely invested in the richness of clothes, jewelry, and all things materialistic. This hat makes my nose look big. Try using the ruby necklace. Now it's too small! Hand me the dress with the frills, not the ruby frills, the pearls! The Kingdom of Shine hardly knew her. Not that they minded. They too were quite absorbed in their own richness. Now, the princesses were turning 16 soon, and the royal couples decided to celebrate their birthdays at both palaces. Wow, I'll get to finally see the Grand Palace of Shine. Ugh, what kind of party will the Globe Palace host? They celebrated the party at Arabelle's castle first. Isabel was immediately blown away by the glamour. Oh my. Happy birthday, cuz. What are you wearing? Arabelle, happy birthday. How do I look? Hmm, hmm. There. Better. <laughs> Thank you. The party was nothing short of extravagance. The royal couple had spared no expense for their beloved Arabelle. <laughs> Is that an indoor water slide? Of course. Don't tell me you don't have one. No, no, no but we do have a marvelous indoor garden with a thousand golden roses and a thousand ruby roses and a thousand emerald roses. Wow, we only have a few hundred wild roses. Isabel wandered around in awe. Everything sparkled. The food, the clothes, even the people. I wonder what it would be like to live like this. The palace and kingdom of Shine are so magnificent. The night came, and with it, Isabel's turn to host the party. When Arabelle entered the Glow Palace, 
she was stunned by its simplicity. Arabelle, I'm so glad you're here. As Isabel showed her stunned cousin around, Arabelle took in the humble sights. The decoration was neat and pretty. But where are the gems, the sparkle, the glitter? Even the water looks plain. <laughs> well, we don't have that many gems. Just a few on my tiara, along with my parents. But Isa, the food. Ours is dusted with gold. Yes, but ours has oodles of love in it. Um, that's basic. Try it. Arabelle reluctantly took a bite, and the taste astounded her. I've never tasted anything so good. Told you, the power of love. Arabelle met some of Isabel's friends, which seemed to be everyone. Isabel, happy birthday! Thank you. It's Arabelle's birthday, too. Happy birthday, birthday Arabelle! <laughs> huh, hello? Oh, for me? Th thank you. Arabelle was taken aback with the immense warmth and love that filled the kingdom. She felt a strange ache in her heart. How funny. I've received all the world's splendor, and yet I've never felt so warm. I wonder what it would be like to live Isabel's life. The scent is mesmerizing. Ours don't smell so wonderful. I envy the way you're so loved by your people. My people probably don't even know me. Don't say that. You're the most dazzling person I've ever met. How could anyone not know you? Your life is so dazzling and bright. <sighs> I wish I could live it for a while. <laughs> I wish I could live yours, too. No sooner did they each make a wish than their souls swapped bodies immediately. Arabelle was now Isabel, and Isabel was now Arabelle. Uh, Arabelle? Is what? Why am I stuck in your body? What? What? What happened? Did, did our wishes come true? They stared at each other their confusion settling into glee. We got our wishes. We can now live each other's lives. But what if we get caught? Oh, don't worry, ouch. These heels are so uncomfortable. You're the one who said, don't worry, better get used to the dazzling life. And how about we change this smug expression to a nice gentle smile? The night came to an end and Isabel returns to Arabelle's kingdom of shine, while Arabelle stayed back in the kingdom of glow. When Isabel reached shine, she frolicked away at parties and feasted on all the richness. This dress is so pretty, isn't it? Beautiful, Arabelle. As she went around, she noticed how developed the kingdom was. Hmm, an indoor lift. That would really help Madame Praline. <laughs> Look, her family just lost a ton of money, so now she can only afford that. Isn't she Arab, I mean, our friend? <laughs> She's broke now. Oh dear, let me help. Arabelle. You'll dirty your new dress. But Isabel paid no heed to the awful remarks. She soon learned that although Shine was wealthy, the people's hearts were quite devoid of any sparkle. They don't care about each other and only think about money. Arabelle wasn't having a ball either. She had learned that Isabel was involved in everything that concerned Glow. Ooh, 
I wish I hadn't made that wish. My poor, beautiful, manicured nails. Oh. Ah! Isabel, my dear, are you all right? There's a worm. Yes, and? And I'm not feeling too well. What? Isabel, Isabel sick? sick? Not, not Issa. I mean, yeah, Isabel, me. <coughs> sick. <coughs> so I'll just head back. And what are you doing? Accompanying you. All the way back? It's a long walk. No walk is too long with our dear Isabel. Wow, none of my friends ever cared for me this way. As she returned, she saw the Kingdom of Glow wasn't that well to do, but everyone was helpful towards each other. Arabelle was expected to study in preparation for her royal responsibilities, something she'd neglected in Shine. Why is Everdon so different? Well, Everdon Glow doesn't possess the means for travel or trade. Hmm. Whereas Everdon Shine's prosperity is due to its trade with the kingdom of Phalite. Ah, Phalite! The source of all my emeralds. But currently, that trade may stop. What? Why? Well, their outrageous demands may have exceeded their kindness towards Phalite. The people of Shine are quite uncaring. True. <sighs> Arabelle now realized how crucial a ruler was and felt terrible about having wasted her time. There is so much love here. It needs to spread. There are ways for Glow to prosper, and I need to see it immediately. Please, please. We wish to return to our own bodies. The next morning, the girls woke up feeling amazing. Can you guess why? Mm -hmm. Hmm? <gasps> I'm back! Oh, my! Me! Oh, how I've missed you so much! We're, We're back. back! The two of them immediately began making changes to the kingdom. Isabel begged her father to borrow some of Shine's wealth to develop their land. But why, my love? Our people may be content, but we must improve our lives. On the other hand, Arabelle pestered her father to receive help from Glow's Minister of Trade. But we have our own Minister of Trade, Pumpkin. Please, he's quite useless and kind of mean. Glow's Minister is kind and can help us strengthen our ties with other lands. The king saw how passionate their daughters were and agreed. The plan was a success. Glow's Minister of Trade was kind and welcoming to all foreign kingdoms, and it wasn't long before Everdon Shine started making more wealth. The extra wealth was thus given to Everdon Glow, and with it, the kingdom developed spectacularly. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Isabel implemented policies that would further develop Glow, while Arabelle nurtured her friends. Wow, I never knew I had such a talent. Surprises do happen. How does it feel? It feels good. And spent time in changing her people, showing them what love is, little by little. <sighs> the duo were quite pleased with themselves. This whole magical escapade turned out better than ever. You said, don't worry. And you were right. Do you miss the dazzle life? It was amazing, but I prefer my own quiet one. I heard you stuck your manicured fingers in the ground. Ah, uh, it wasn't too bad, but I prefer my hands without any mud. However, I learned a lot through this switch. Same, but I think I'm happy with things now. You? Same.
The girls had understood that true richness lies not in material wealth, but in the wealth of the heart and the bonds we forge with others. Only then can we truly flourish.